Good morning, Acadiana. Well, utility officials tell me that when you have damage like this, a pole actually snapped. It fell on this house. Restoring electricity is not as simple as turning on a switch. In fact, it's a lot of work, as you can see right behind me. I'm Angie Dusan, your North Lafayette Parish reporter, taking a deeper look at power restoration. Tens of thousands of residents were without electricity as severe weather and damaging winds battered parts of Acadiana early Wednesday morning. This map showing a look at the outages and the extent of the damage. Over 6,000 people in St. Landry Parish, nearly 2,000 in Acadia, around 500 in Evangeline and Jefferson Parishes still without power on Thursday afternoon. We had a lot of poles down. There was a lot of straight uh, straight line winds or some were even saying twisters that affected the area. We had a lot of sections of poles that went down, of course, trees that went down. The work is extensive, as evidenced by the footage captured by our team on this drone video. Power poles knocked down line after line. Mary Laurent, the communications coordinator at Slimco, says the restoration is a process. And what we're focusing on is wrapping up those areas where multiple poles have to be changed. And also now we're moving on to the individual outages where people have an issue with their home or business that needs to be repaired. Where you live affects which provider you have and how restoration is taking place but the restoration is between Slimco, Clico, and Intergy, the main utility providers throughout Acadiana. Slimco reported 34,000 residents impacted by power outages early Wednesday morning. Those numbers were gradually going down as restoration work continues. Clico reporting over 50 broken power poles in Opelousas alone. The company said it would have an estimated restoration time late Thursday. Intergy reporting 170 poles in need of repair or replacement throughout the state. As for residents, one woman telling me her husband uses a health device and needs electricity. Another telling me she works from home and has a small child. As the work continues, it's still unclear when full restoration will take place. We are very hopeful that we are going to have everybody back on by tonight. We don't know that. We can't guarantee that because if we get into an area and we see that there's more extensive damage than that we haven't been able to see before now, uh, then that we have to take that into effect too. Our representatives tell me that it's still too early to determine the exact cost of damages from the storm, but they are working on that information. As for a look at restoration, you want to pay attention to our website at katc.com. We are updating it every time we get new information from the utility providers. For now, here in Karen Crow, I'm Edgy St. your North Lafayette Parish reporter for KTC TV3. Back to you.